Hey, what's up everybody? This is Drew with ODM Photography. In this week's video, I'm going to show you how to use the spot removal tool in Lightroom and the healing brush tool in Photoshop to remove unwanted elements in a photo. I'm going to be using a photo that I've previously done in a previous video of my daughter, and I'm going to show you how I remove the psoriasis that's around her eyes. It's something that makes her feel uncomfortable when I take pictures of her. But uh, with these cool little tricks, you can r remove unwanted elements like that within a photo and make them look completely natural. So as always, I hope you enjoy. All right, everybody. So what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to show you exactly how to use the spot removal tool within Lightroom. Um, before we cross over to Photoshop, where I can really show you how the healing brush works to remove certain aspects, like in this case, my daughter's psoriasis, I'm going to show you the spot removal tool. This is a great tool to have in case your suspect, in case your client, they, they show up one day with a pimple. You know, makeup can only cover it up so much, and who the heck wants a pimple in their photo? Let's be serious. I don't want a pimple on my nose. You probably don't want one on your nose. But you can't just sit here and go, oh, we'll wait until, you know, your body does its natural healing and the pimple goes away, you're only able to work within certain time frames, uh, especially when dealing with portraits, modeling, or anything like that. Generally, that's something that you schedule out time beforehand. You might have an extra day where you you know can go back, but let's be serious. If you schedule for a Wednesday to get it done and you've got a backup day as the following Wednesday, if that pimple isn't gone, your suspect is going to get a picture with a pimple. And even if they put on makeup, you put on makeup, it doesn't always do the trick. So Lightroom has this cool feature, it's called spot removal. And I use Lightroom for all of my basic edits. So if I don't need to change skin tones, hair, or anything like that, Lightroom is my go-to. I can edit a photo in a flash. Generally for me, it can be anywhere from 30 seconds, three minutes. And if I'm really going hard, you know, <laughs> it might take me 15 minutes to get something exactly the way I want it. But these little tools allow me to take less time than in Photoshop where I'm spending a minimum 15 minutes on a photo um, when editing. So let's just dive right into it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in right here on my daughter's mole. Um, I'm not picking on my child. She doesn't care about it. I don't care about it. This is just a cool way to show you exactly what the spot removal tool does, how it works, and how it blends everything in to where you'll never notice that there was a pimple, a bug, anything that can be within the image, a light flare that you just want to remove. Um, this is what the spot removal tool will allow to help you with. So let's just go ahead and do it. We we'll get click right up here, the spot removal tool. It's a little circle with the arrow pointing out, and it's gonna. In this case, the brush size is too small, so let's adjust our brush size. Let's get it to where we want it. That right there looks about perfect. So you get your brush size adjusted to where you want it, and you put it over what you want to remove. In this case, I'm going to remove this mole right here. So let's just click right there. And what Lightroom is going to do is it's going to do its best to find something within the image or within the skin or something like that to blend that, to blend in, to copy and blend and paste over basically to blend in so that you are unable to notice that there was anything there. So in this case, Lightroom decided to choose from here. If you don't like it, you can just put the hand over top of it and move it exactly where you want. In this case, I'm going to trust Lightroom and just see what happens. So you just click enter and enter again. And boom, I was able to remove the mole. You'll never be able to tell as well. Little freckles or pimples just come right back up here. Spot removal right over top of it. I'm using my laptop today, so it's a little slow. And then boom, it's going to cover it right up. I click enter, enter again, and boom, it's gone. There's nothing there. You'll never be able to tell that anything had been done to the image. And so this is good in certain cases. Like I said, your suspect shows up with a pimple. A, blood, a bug flies right onto their forehead. Who wants to continue to sit there for hours upon hours making sure that everything is perfect? Not only does a photographer not have a time, but your client's going to get bored real fast. So it's little things like this within, these, within, these, within this editing software that uh, really help us as photographers out in editing a photo. So, as well, I want to get over to Photoshop because, like I told you, my daughter has psoriasis. She's very self-conscious about it, and in this case, she's flaring up on her, on her eyelids. And she hates it. She didn't want to take a photo that day. But once again, I can't pick and choose when flares are going to pop up. So, I have this software. She asked me if I would remove it, and I said yes. So, 
Let's get this photo on over to Photoshop and show you how the healing brush tool will allow you to remove that in the most natural way. So once again, you right click on the image, go to edit in, edit in Adobe Photoshop. Okay, so now that Lightroom is loaded, we're able to get started using the healing brush. So the first thing I like to do is I like to come to my layers panel and I like to right click on it and then click duplicate layer. What this does is this gives me a another layer of the exact same image so that anything that I do will not affect the original image. Um, so it also means that if I completely mess up, I can go right back and to the original photo and delete the layer beforehand and still have everything as it was before. So let's just go ahead and we'll just call this Abby, click OK, boom. So I don't want to use the layer behind me, so I'm just going to make that layer non-visible. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come over here to the healing brush. This has got to be the coolest tool that I've ever used in Photoshop. Uh, last week's video, I was able to remove a building from a photo, which was awesome because in my case, it was an eyesore. And it just took away from the beauty of the sunset. So in this case, we're going to work on removing the alope I mean the psoriasis from my daughter's eyes. So let's zoom in a little closer. There we go. Now I've got it to where I like it. Let me make that brush just a little bit smaller. There we go. Okay. So I'm going to click right click on the healing brush just to make sure I've got the healing brush tool and not the spot healing tool. And boom. So now I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to choose a section. So as you learned last week, you just click Alt, you click a selection or a section of the eye that you want to paste over top of it, and boom. So you Alt, and then left click, and then boom. Now you have the selection. So what we're going to do is we're going to start right here, and I'm just going to start painting right over top of it. And as you can tell, that little arrow is going right over the dark spots in her eyes. I don't want that. So now I'm going to come out here, and I'm going to click Alt again, and I'm going to select further out on that skin tone. And now I'm just going to start painting right over top of it. And boom. I'm able to remove the alopecia. And even though it looks a little dark right here, you can always make another selection. So let's just come over here looks to be a little lighter so let's just choose this skin tone up here click alt and let's go for gold and I just paint right over top of it and that just helps to lighten up the image and you can just keep clicking over top of it and ultimately what's gonna happen is it's just gonna get lighter and lighter and lighter and you can continue to select different layers or different aspects of the skin to change it until you get it exactly the way you want it so in this case that looks fine to me it's shaded it's a shaded area um, so I still want to have the shading and the the aspect of you know the eyes coming out and stuff like that so I actually like that right there so let's zoom out and see what we have now zoom all the way out and in that case to me that looks perfect you would never be able to tell that anything was there and though when the picture was zoomed out you wouldn't have been able to tell much. My daughter was able to recognize it as well. Your client will be able to recognize it. And little things like this will make them feel more comfortable. So let's zoom in again. And let's just get that last spot on her eye. Let me zoom in a little bit further. And let's get right here. So what I'm going to do is, once again, I'm just going to select the part that I like. So I think that blends in fairly well right up here. Alt, click, boom. Let's get to painting. And there we go. Once again, that was a whole lot easy. That was, that was easier right there. And now we were able to remove all of my subject's unwanted aspects or elements uh, to her. Okay, so ultimately in this week's video, we were able to use the spot healing tool to remove unwanted aspects in Lightroom. As well, we were able to cross over to Photoshop to use the healing brush to remove further aspects that say the spot healing tool isn't able to use. Well guys, that's it for this week's video. As always, I hope you enjoyed. Please like, share, subscribe, follow me. Um, the links below to my Facebook, YouTube, Twitter account will be provided. Um, as well, if there's anything that y'all want to see, want me to do, you want me to go out into the field, show you my settings, anything like that, please leave a comment below. Um, I definitely want to hear back from y'all. I definitely want to be posting material that y'all want to see or would like to see. Um, so yeah, just leave a comment below. Tell me what you'd like to see and hopefully I'll uh, 
be able to go out and do it or record another video sp more geared specifically to what you would like. So as always, thank you very much. Have a good one.